Okay, so last semester in my American literature class, we discussed a book called All the Light you Can't, We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. It was published last year, and it focuses primarily on the war that happened in the mid-1900s, World War II, from a small seaside village in France called Saint-Malo. As we studied this book, we focused primarily on the issues of remembrance and truth. However, as we started to focus on these issues, I got a little confused about why this book would be titled All the Light We Cannot See, when it seemed that so often it was that the characters would not see. They chose not to see. They refused to do it. There are plenty of characters that I could focus on, but the one that I've chosen that I think would be the most effective in discussing this is Werner. He's a young German boy who, during his time in the orphanage, chooses, instead of remaining there and working in the small mining town, to join the Nazi youth program for hope that his life would be better. The problem is that when he joins this group, he believes that this is going to better his lifestyle. It's going to better everyone's lifestyle. He's, he's fed lie after lie after lie, and even though he has several opportunities to actually receive truth and to internalize it, both from radio programs that he was illegally listening to, but listening to nonetheless, and from his sister's warnings to what he was stepping into. In addition, there are two different instances where he encounters death, one being when he witnesses a train passing by carrying Holocaust victims, people who are heading into concentration camps, and another when he witnesses the death of a young girl that he accidentally causes when he accuses her of something unjustly. While we would assume that these two experiences with death would be equally held in his mind, things that he would hold on to and remember, this is something that he chooses one over the other. He remembers the death of the young girl and it torments him, but he refuses to remember or even talk about what happens with the train the rest of the story. For this reason, I determined that this story, All the Light We Cannot See, is acting as a microcosm for our own world. As we pick and choose the things that we will believe and the things that we will and won't remember, the things that we find valuable in our world, the problem is that as we make these decisions, we unconsciously allow ourselves to be selectively blind to things that are valuable, to things that are important, and to things that we have a responsibility and an opportunity to know. Things that if we chose to know, we could, we could ultimately have the truth on. Thank you.